Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you a real cool feature of the vCloud Director. The vCloud Director is able to run in multiple cells, but you have to add an additional load balancer to spread the load between those vCloud Director cells. So in my setup I already deployed three vCloud Director cells and those cells have different IP addresses ranging from 45 to 51 on the end and I deployed a load master virtual load master from camp and I'm going to show you how to configure this load master as a load balancing server for vCloud director the load master is a virtual appliance and it can be downloaded from the camp website and it can be evaluated for free so go ahead by all means and do a download on their website and get a copy of it because it's real awesome software and it's not that expensive So there's a, uh, an interface which enables you to do some basic configuration tasks like putting in the IP address and that sort of things and you can also uh, do the basic setup from there. There's also a web interface on the same load balancing software. So first of all, let's go to our cloud environments. I already used uh, a browser to log on to the vCloud director and you see that there are three cells available in my vCloud director environment and when I'm going to administration at the public address you see that there's not an address configured yet. So this is the first server within the multi-cell environment, the 45 server. This is my camp load balancer and it's running on address 240 on the end and this load balancer must be configured with uh, a new rule to spread user requests through those three cells within the multi-cell environment. So it's a real nice GUI, it has everything you need to add or modify new services and we are going to add a new service and the address is 192.168.178.241. You don't have to configure this address on ETA 0, uh, it's, it's a virtual address and it will be captured by the TCP IP stack of this load balancer. We have to put in a name, I'm putting in vCloud director it's CCP traffic and we are going to create this service you can set an alternate address if the first address can't be found you have to select a service type and you can force traffic to go to layer 7 and also enable layer 7 transparency and then you can uh, configure the persistence options and this means that if a user already has a connection has a session with one of the vCloud directors which vCloud director cell must be chosen for this user if, it's, if he visits or requests a new uh, session and I'm putting it on source address we also are able to uh, select the schedule method and I'm doing it on response time so the cell that responds first uh, will be used for future connections so you can do real load balancing because a cell that is not responding that fast uh, is already loaded with some heavy tasks or a lot of users and um, that's a real nice load balancing type so we have to enable SSL because our load balancer will talk through SSL with the cells and the balancer itself also will provide a certificate for the end user so the traffic is encrypted end to end by SSL and we can put in a web server which is used when no, none of the servers are up and running we can also put in a URL and this URL can be used for measuring if all servers are up and running and also measuring the load so in this case I will put in slash cloud slash as the URL that is pasted behind the addresses of the real server and this URL will be used to measure if a server is still up and running and it will also be used for uh, for measuring uh, the response time so Now we're going to put in the real servers and the first real server will be 192.168.178.45 and it's, it's the first server in the three cell cluster and the second and the third one, I forgot the IP addresses, the first one was 45, the second one was 48 and the third one was 51. So we have to add the two additional cells also, uh, 48 
and 51. So these are the real servers and the traffic that is requested at 241, our virtual address of the load balancer, will be redirected to one of the three real vCloud director cells if they are up and running and if they are responding fast enough. So you see it right here. When you go to statistics, you can see the real servers. They are all up and every server is responding on the slash vCloud slash address. So the virtual address is also up and all the servers are up and running. So let's try it. Let's take a look if it really works. 192.168.178.241. And now I am presented with a new certificate. This new certificate is generated as a self-signed certificate by Camp, by my load balancer. And if you want to see the values within the certificate, then you can go to the certificate properties and you will see that it's created by Camp Technologies. So I'm ignoring the certificate and I'm continuing anyway to the vCloud director. And you will see that I'm now able to log on to the vCloud director through the load balancer. So when I'm looking at my administration page and at my public address, I can put in a public address will be which will be used to respond to user requests. And I already created a DNS setting for 241. It's vcloud.ntpro.local. So when I'm testing this link, I'm using the vcloud.ntpro.local URL, uh, which is also configured within the vcloud director, and I'm able to log on to one of the three cells. And yeah, which one isn't really important? Uh, it's the fastest one. So let's try to ping this address to prove if antipro.nl or if, if vcloud.antipro.nl is really uh, the address that I'm using. I'm making a typo. It's it's vcloud. Ping vcloud.antipro.nl. Okay. Um, and it will respond from 192.168.178.241. Okay, that works. So let's take a look at uh, the cells again. The all cells are up and running. One cell is connected to the vCenter server. And we are going to power off one cell. We put it in maintenance mode or whatever, or there must be an upgrade, or we won't, don't want to bother any users. So the portal must be still up and running. And the cell is going down and the VMware vCloud director service will eventually be stopped on, uh, on this host. So let's take a look at the status of those cells. The status reflected within vCloud Director is sometimes a little bit behind, but when we are going to the camp, uh, to the camp appliance, we will see that it's still monitoring all our hosts. Let's take a look and let's try to still log on. So there's no chance we will end up on the, the cell that is already powered off. The two remaining cells will serve all the user re requests. And like I already said, the, 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 time, the, the status on this page can be a, 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 a little bit lacking behind. So the status is not measured uh, every minutes for instance it what you see in the camp load balancer is that the uh, the second server is down so the 48 server is down and if a user is using the 241 address for vcloud director uh, access then this server will not be used anymore because the load balancer the load master has uh, seen by measuring the url that this server is down when i'm going to um, to my, uh, yeah, let's go to statistics again and let's take a, so you can also enable and disable servers and what you should do is before you are going to do maintenance on your cell, disable the cell in the load master so there's no user access to the cell anymore, then monitor if users are still active on the, on the particular cell and if the cell is empty and there are no users active anymore, then you can 
power of the cell. So I did it the other way around. Let's see if the vCloud director already picked up the new status of the second host. It still didn't. So the vCloud director still thinks it's up and running, but it's definitely down. You see the virtual machine powered off right here. So that's the real cool thing. I can still use a browser and log on to vCloud director even though a cell is down. Let's do it the right way. Let's disable cell number three, the 51 server. And when you disable a cell and a user tries to log on to the portal, uh, all requests will go to cell one because cell two is powered off and cell three is disabled. And uh, we only have one cell left, but that's cool. That's no problem. This one cell will function perfectly as long as the other cells are upgrading to a newer, newer version or whatever. So the URL is still functioning and all the users will be redirected to uh, cell one. And nobody will notice that there are two cells down. Let's see if vCloud Director already picked up the new status of cell two and cell three. The status is still down. Um, so let's take a look at our load master when we go to the load master and we will look at the statistics we will see that two servers are disabled so the disabled servers won't be used anymore by the load master to uh, serve URLs when I'm enabling those two servers um, and I think I have to refresh this page when I'm enabling the service the load master will use the URL the slash cloud slash URL to measure if the server is still up and running and um, let's try to refresh this page and let's see if it reflects that two servers are, are down yes there it is two server 48 and 51 are both down and the user won't be connected to those two servers anymore let's give it an, another try vcloud.antipro.nl and i'm still able to log on and everyone is logging on to cell number one. Let's see if the cloud director already picked up the new status of cell two and cell three. No, it still didn't. It's still green. Hmm, that's a bit a bit strange. Should be a little bit faster. Um, but the load master definitely sensed that two cells are down. Um, so let's power them up again and let's do a quick peek in vCloud Director if the cells are up and running again. And if the cells are, yeah, now one is down. Okay. So Eric Sloof is signing off. Good luck with the Loadmaster from Camp. Hop over to their website and give it a try. And it's a real cool, cool Loadmaster, Load Balancer. It's not very expensive. It's running in a VM and it's functioned perfectly. Bye bye.